You guys never cease to amaze me. Thank you, misfits. In the video, right before this one, there's some awesome little comments in there. You guys are the best, man. Listen. I know I mentioned this before, but I didn't think about it all the way through. And June Snow, if I remember correctly, your comment about rehab. And all of a sudden, something popped. And somebody else in your comment, MD, right? And then all of a sudden, I thought, holy shit, that's a great hustle. Listen, if, not if, when I go get my LLC, right? This nonprofit status for a doggy rescue, I'll ask and I'll look into what it would take to be a drug rehabilitation center, right? Where you need to be clean and sober. That's a great idea. If I had a doctor, a nurse, as a misfit, and it's all for nonprofit, right? My, cause, what I want is a, a foundation, right? And so if I got a nonprofit foundation and it's geared to putting doggies, homeless doggies, misfit doggies with broken humans, right? Like I've always said, it's a perfect combination. And if somebody's coming down from being broken, I put you on 30 acres with a little pit bull and a steak and you're going to feel better. Guaranteed, you're going to feel better, especially when you're, you're surrounded by people that care, right? Because like I said, it's in me to be a dad. I had my brothers <clears throat> and my wife, both, all three of them bust my balls over me telling them what to do. We're tired of you telling us what to do. So it's kind of in me to be the fucking daddy. You know what I'm saying? Telling people what to do. I was a foreman on a job site. See, for me, I don't tell nobody anything. I ask you. And if you don't want to listen, you could just fucking leave. And that, and that includes a misfit, right? I'm not going to tell you what to do. I'm going to ask you to give me some help to do this. Give me some help to do that. And if you don't want to help, well, then I will ask you to leave. <clears throat> it's that simple. I'm not telling anybody what to do. And you come and go as you please, right? There is no rules and regulations. You don't fit. You'll go. Trust me. And... I've had people say, well, Johnny, you got to be careful. You get somebody in here, you might not be able to get rid of them. I'll get rid of them, trust me. I will have people here with me that will make them so uncomfortable. They won't, they, they, they couldn't leave here fast enough. And I won't break no fucking laws. I'll take all the doors off. <laughs> I'll take the windows out. I don't give a fuck. You'll freeze to death if you don't want to go. Cut the heat. This is my fucking house. But... I will leave a legacy to somebody or somebody's, right? If I got a foundation and the misfits keep it going, you guys live here. You guys have all my shit. I can't take it with me. I don't... <laughs> I don't know what the future has in store. I just know what I have to do. These doggies are number one. And finding the right people to help me means I can help more doggies. That's it for me. There is no end game. There is no hustle. There is no complicated story. The more dogs I can help, the better it makes me feel. And the only way for me to help more dogs is I got to find a way to work with some humans, right? 
And if I'm working with broken humans, it's a lot easier than working with squares. Squares think they know it all. People that aren't broken think they know it all. And those are the worst kind. I'd rather have somebody that used to be fucked up that's trying to be better. Because they're trying, right? Know-it-alls and squares, they don't try to do shit. They're selfish, right? That's why I'm on a fucking island. They're fucking selfish. Think about your politicians. Think about your boss at work. The owner of your company. Your governor. Your mayor. They're all fucking selfish. With... Itsy bitsy exceptions, and you know this. So I don't want nothing to do with them. So, unless you're a professional, like I said, like a doctor, a nurse, a somebody, somebody who wants to be a part of this because they're trying to give back, right? Maybe you're a misfit and you're not broken, right? You don't have to be broken to be a misfit. I just don't know any squares or straight people that got their shit together, but I have met doctors and lawyers and nice people in my life. And I would love to have some professionals a part of this fucking thing. Oh my God, you talk about what's needed. Fuck you. You know, a CPA, maybe used to be an alcoholic, is clean and sober, loves dogs, bing, bang, boom. Now I got a CPA, fuck you. Lives in the guest house, right? I don't give a fuck. You'll never get rid of potty mouth. I can clean it up when I have to, right? Like if there was a news camera or Johnny had to go talk to some kids at the junior high school, I could clean it up, right? I know not to drop F-bombs at the bank, <laughs> right? So, but when I'm talking to my gadget, fuck you. This is my time. This is my house. This is, you know what I mean? This is my video. But Misfit Island belongs to all of us, right? The YouTube channel belongs to all of us. That's This does not belong to me. This is a commercial. You can't, you can't own a commercial. And any monies off the YouTube channel, like I said, it all goes to the fucking doggies, right? All $30 that's there now. <laughs> so funny. It cracks me up. No, but thank you, Misfits. Thank you for those comments in the last video. You guys knocked it out of the park. You inspire me. I knew once things got going, except I was thinking I had to do it in Cali because of obvious. But now that I'm staying and I'm digging in, you guys are already stepping up. You're rallying behind me. That's exactly what I need, right? Good, solid suggestions, good ideas. I'm all about it, man. This is 30 fucking acres. Get this. If... I am a nonprofit, right? And I got people that are here for uh, re rehabilitation and their insurance is paying for it. Well, their insurance, because I'm not for profit, those, those monies get spent on, I'd like to put a big, huge, a huge log cabin in the middle of that field right there. Like, because that real estate agent, fucking said that and it's been ringing in my ear 4,000 square foot log cabin if I had that instead of the guest house well maybe I could get 600,000 for this place I appreciate his honesty and I get that right but if I have a 4,000 square foot log cabin you know how many misfits I could put in there quite a few quite a few as it stands right now the guest house is three bedrooms Two to a bedroom, that's six people in that house. I sleep in the fucking living room, I don't give a shit. And I got two bedrooms here, and then basically I got a spot for four people to sleep upstairs. So that's two, four, that's six people in this house and six people in that house. I could, I could tend to, let's just say 10. <laughs> I can tend to 10. No, but seriously, I could tend to a dozen people right now, comfortably, you know? Wouldn't be much for privacy, but fuck, man. I don't give a fuck about that. As long as you're here for the right reasons and you ain't stealing my shit, I don't give a fuck. This ain't about... This, this, this grand idea of mine ain't about me. It's about these damn dogs, like I said. And I can't do this by myself. But if I have to, I will. Me and 10, me and 10 12 dogs, right? I'll put everybody in this fucking house... <clears throat> I don't know what I'll do with that one. Who knows? 
But I don't think that's going to happen. Now, after this morning, I have a feeling I'm going to have quite a few misfits and this whole fucking thing is going to get out of control very quickly. And that's exactly what I want. I want things to be frantic. I want there to be 10 people that want to live here right away, right? Oh, shit. Okay. Well, it's going to be a little cramped, but first things first, we get some money in. We need to build this big ass cabin. Now you guys got your own fucking rooms, you know what I mean? Your privacy, the this, the that, the this, that. We got room for more people, and then I got more room for more people in that house, more people in this house again, right? So it grows. I can grow this as I get help, or I can do it all by myself. I can scale it up or down. That's the construction worker in me. That's easy. <clears throat> but Misfits, you guys did it this morning, right? You guys put the word out. Hey, man, I know this guy. He's trying to do this charity, right? He's trying to help foster kids, veterans, drug addicts, right? I even tried to help convicts, but they didn't want nothing to do with me. So I just quit fucking with that genre, right? Because I thought I'd find some broken misfits in that realm, but they're as bad as squares. They think they know it all already, right? That hard knock life that they had is different than the hard knock life I had. And I, I you know, I ain't trying to... Uh, lump everybody together. I'm just from my limited experience, very, very limited experience recently. I don't, you know, it was a mistake, but I don't know who the fuck's going to be here. I just know I got to do what I got to do and build it and they will come. I've been saying that since the beginning. I'm trying to drink more waters. Johnny's going to get his little six-pack belly before I turn 61. I fucked up. I was supposed to have it by the time I turned 60. I ain't got much time left, right? That's a goal of mine I've always wanted. I've always been the stocky guy, not the ripped-up guy, and that's something I just want to do for myself. It doesn't cost money. In fact, it saves money, right? <laughs> Eat a little less. One last steak. <laughs> so anyway, thank you, Misfits. This one's for you. You guys are the fucking bomb, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Just watch, man. I, I can feel it. It's weird. I can turn the page. Once I settled in and decided that this is it here, I I'm comfortable now. I'm not tripping on the trailer and the neighbors and the oh my stalkers and all that bullshit. I'm not tripping on it no more. Right? I got my security in, in place, right? It's always in place <laughs> amongst, you know, everything else. I really ain't worried now, right? I'm not, uh, that's not what keeps me up at night. My doggies keep me up at night, right? When they move, I jump. And when I see stories online of the suffering for these dogs, it just crushes me. So to help some broken humans and some broken doggies put them together, like I've been saying for years and years and years, the doggies are way better than any pill. And it don't matter. I'm way partial to pit bulls. But, you know, whatever dogs come, they come. I'm not a hater to a, any breeds. You know what I'm saying? It's just... I know my pit bulls, right? And they get the worst rap out of any dog out there. They get abused and mistreated and fucked off worse than any breed on the planet. And I don't think anybody can argue that fact. But whoever God brings me, human or otherwise, not for me to say, like I said, I'm going to try to be more flexible and quit um, be so controlling and leave it to the powers to be to figure out who to put in this fucking house. And that house and the log cabin that we're gonna build. <laughs> you watch. All right, I'm digging this. I'm gonna get off the gadget. Just had to uh, <laughs> share my crazy, right? And you guys share my crazy, right? Reach out to some doctors and some lawyers and some nonprofits if you want in my name, say, hey, you should see this guy, what this guy's doing. I need you guys to help me create the buzz, man. Bzz, 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 bzz. <laughs> go watch Johnny. Go over to Johnny's house. Go go see, go see. 
Go make a misfit island with them, right? You might not, you may have your life and, and not need to be or want to be a part of this, right? Other than just being a cheerleader. And God bless you. But the thing is, you might know somebody who is perfect for this place, right? Just saying. <laughs> All right, y'all. Have a beautiful day. And once again, thank you. Much love from me and the girls. Love the ones that love you back. Do your best with the rest. I think you might even be able to let the kids listen to this one. Holy shit. Except for the the, the F-bombs and stuff, right? But at least it's not no crazy shit. <laughs> it's crazy like a fox, right? In, in a good way. All right. We'll talk soon. Peace.